Hey guys, this is Paul Potter, the Grand Lake Guy. Today we're going to be going out here and trying to find some crappie as if we have never fished this lake before. So we're going to be going out and looking for some brand new spots. It's coming up right now in this video. Hey guys, welcome back. This is Paul Potter, the Grand Lake Guy. If this is your first time here, this channel is all about helping you increase your crappie fishing catch rate by sharing tricks and techniques that I use as a crappie fishing guide on Grand Lake in Oklahoma. So if this is your first time here and you love crappie fishing as much as I do, make sure and hit that subscribe button, give us a like by hitting the thumbs up below, and then type slabs down into the comments section. Okay, so I get asked all the time by people, Paul, how do you go find new spots out on the lake? How, are, how do you consistently catch crappie day after day, weekend after weekend? And actually what we're gonna go do is actually go find a new spot and go catch some crappie on it today. If you guys have watched a lot of my videos or know anything about how I like to fish, I love following the channels, right? So today we're gonna be following the main river channel going down south and we're gonna be looking for those channel bends and then we're also gonna be looking for some coves, some docks. Uh, then we're gonna pull the live scope out and do some scoping around in that area looking for some brush piles that maybe someone has sunk under their docks or close to their docks. We're gonna go through this whole process so you guys can see it and you guys can replicate it so it'll work for you as well. So guys, let's go fishing. All right, well, that didn't take long. Uh, actually, that first corner I took right outside of Governor's Island, right where that main lake starts, I found a brush pile out here, and I think I see some crappie on it. I didn't expect to really run into them that quick. I knew it was always a possibility, but uh, this brush pile looks pretty good, so we're gonna go uh, try to catch some, see what we can do with it. Well, this spot was not very good. Uh, saw a lot of crappie here. They just were not very active. Anyways, let's go find another spot and go catch some fish. All right, so we didn't catch anything on that last spot we went to, so I just went right around the corner, uh, found another cove right next to this channel. This channel runs right along here, and we got these docks right here, so this is a perfect spot, and someone has dumped a humongous brush pile right at the end of this cove right here. So we're gonna check it out, see if we can go catch some fish real quick. Uh, let's see how we do. All right, drop it down here real quick, see what we can get. See the brush pile there. Oh, I already have a bite, good grief. Holy moly. There he is, crappie crappie number one in a new spot we haven't even tried before. There we go, right there, guys. Nice little crappie. Let's let him go. Sun's starting to go down now, so we're actually going back to the first spot we found today. And we're gonna see if now, since uh, you know it's closer to sundown, if uh, maybe that's made him a little more active. So uh, let's go see if we can go catch some of them real quick. Oh, there's one right there, yep. Well, he thumped that one pretty hard. That was a nice crappie. Nice crappie. Right out of there. That's on a new spot. Woo! Yep, baby. Now we're talking, right? There we go. Crappie on a new spot right there. Not a bad little crappie. About as big as my head. So... Here we go. Not bad. Let's let this guy go. <clears throat> Number one, follow the channel. Number two, 
look for the channel bends. Number three, look and see where that thermocline is and also try to see where the fish are, what depth the fish are hanging out at. We did that and we also saw a bunch of bait fish kind of swimming around in the area. So I knew that, uh, you know, there would be some fish in here just because naturally uh, the crappie are going to follow the bait fish. After that, it was pretty much just looking for brush piles that people had sunk underneath their dock and just look for brush piles in general in that general area based on where the thermocline was and where i'd been seeing fish in other areas uh, that's pretty much it it was successful um, i mean we found this spot right here and there was there's a huge brush pile over here and i'm not kidding there's probably 30 crappie on it uh, we saw we saw it today when it was about three o'clock in the afternoon didn't really catch anything on it gets a pretty shallow brush pile but then we actually decided to come back to this area and when I saw it, they had actually, so the fish that were on that brush pile had actually moved and they went underneath this dock right here. So that's where we were trying to catch them. It was underneath this dock right here and they were in a hard to reach spot. I mean, uh, I didn't want to get on the person's dock to catch the fish. If I could have, I, I probably would have, I probably could have caught 50 crappie tonight, but uh, we can't get on other people's docks. So we did the best we could. We pitched the, the minnows up into right up next to this dock and kind of let it pendle them back to us. And then some of these crappie, uh, it lured them out. And uh, we saw them kind of come out uh, from underneath that bridge, or they kind of came out from underneath that that dock and came and ambushed our, our minnows. So that was a pretty good day all in all, not bad at all. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure to check out some other videos. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Talk to you later.